Well, in Southern California, we don't have water, but what we do have is sun. So I'm always interested in solar products. There you go. And so uh, I'm talking to Colin Guernsey of GoSun. Yep. How are you doing today? Good. I'm fantastic. I'm really excited to be at CES. All right. Very few products caught my attention in their press releases. It's a very short list, but one of them was this these cool solar ovens you got going on For here. Sure. So this is an audio podcast, but it's also a video podcast. So you got to describe everything in oh, an perfect. ornate detail, the too. Side, then, right? Oh, yeah. There cool. you go. All right. So we've got two units here. One is a little tiny thing. One's a great big thing. Let's start with the big one. Yeah, so this is our solar electric oven. So one of the needs that we found after we did a lot of our ovens, which are just solar, is that people ask, well, can I cook at night or can I cook in the rain or can I cook in situations where there's no sun? Can I cook in Seattle? Can I cook in Seattle or Ohio where we're based? Uh, and we had to say no. But then we were like, all right, we need a, a solution for this. So we made a solar electric oven. And so in the sun, you can use the reflectors and cook your food. Or at night or in the rain, you can plug it in and you plug it into a power bank just like this. And then you can power it for about an hour and get your food cooked. All right, so I got to describe what this thing that this basically looks like uh, a satellite. It's got it's got two wings that have opened up, one up and one down that are, are highly reflective on the inside. Then there's a tube that looks like it's a uh, glass of some sort. And uh, we've we've got Peter standing by for the high tech questions. Uh, this this tube, what is that glass made out of? Is that anything can, in particular? Can, I got that one. Yeah, he's got uh, he's got that one. All right, Colin knows it. You can essentially compare it to the Pyrex in your in your kitchen. So okay. it's it's a it's a multi layer glass that collects the sun's rays and puts them into this tube and allows the food to cook. So, so. out of the end of this tube comes this slot sort of thing that slides out, and he's got a bunch of. Uh, they look like vegetables in there. Are, th are those real vegetables? Those are real vegetables. Where we did you get these? We stole from the appetizers at CES. I'm yeah, not. You, I'm not ashamed. You knew nobody was taking that zucchini, right? Oh, for sure. It's going to stay there all night. Right, right. Okay, so uh, you got a bunch of vegetables in there. Let's say I want them nice and crispy. Do you like pour oil in there? What do you or just you steam them? You can pretty them? much do, do any type of cook you want. You can do a light fry. It's not. It's not a portable fryer. Let's just get that straight. You cannot do pickle chips in here like perfectly, uh, but you can do a light fry, you can do a bake, uh, you can do like a slow cook. And with the electric version, you can amp that up a little bit if you do the sun and that, you can cook it really fast. So it's very flexible. Um, if you just do it in like a light sunlight, it's like a slow cooker approach. Um, so it's a really, really nice cook. So and this, this new one that you're burn. showing off here that has the solar and electric, that seems good for the backyard barbecue sort of thing. It's uh, great. But this, this little tiny unit here, is, it looks like sort of a fold up. Can you fold that up for the camera for here? Sure. And it's a much can, smaller version. It's just a couple sure. feet long. And it's only oh, yeah, two you, pounds. Oh, yeah. You could throw that in a backpack. Yep. You can throw it in a backpack. You can zip it up. And then uh, we do have a little strap here if you want to, like, a carabiner or something like that. Oh, so there you it's go. really, really flexible. It's, like I said, it's only two pounds. It you're, cooks, not, you're not going to cook a steak in that, though, unless you... You can cut, get a strip steak well, in there. Well, you got a lot of tiny little strips, I suppose. Oh, yeah, you can do sure. it. Hey, don't discount the steak. Now, so. how long would it take to cook a steak in this little tiny unit here? Uh, about 30 minutes. I mean, really? you might not get medium like rare? an ultra well done. No, it's going to be better than medium rare. Um, and that's I like in medium rare. Sun. If you want medium rare, then you got it. I'll cook whatever you want. Okay, so now you've got this unit, uh, the uh, uh, little toy one that you take on the uh, on camping. Call it a toy. Sorry, the camping unit. You've got it sitting on a camping table, but half of it looks like it's a solar panel. What is this? For sure. So this is our new solar table. Uh, this will be debuting on a crowdfunding campaign shortly, and it goes with the whole system. Imagine your DeWalt drill. Uh, it's essentially a battery that can work for multiple things so right now the two things that it's going to work for are a solar cooler down here so oh, we got a cooler here we've got a beer and a gin and tonic sitting on it there you go. just looks like so, a regular cooler but what does it do the table will power the the power bank and then the power bank comes down here and powers the cooler uh, and we can power the cooler for hours on end so it reduces the need for ice you really don't need ice it can actually create ice it could go down to negative create ice degrees. from the sun that's awesome i know it's incredible it's actually very surprising you can do that so it actually goes to negative degrees and so you can make that ice very simply so my friends dean and suzanne actually opened the windows in their house in in uh, uh utah and they use solar energy to air condition the house while they get the windows open from the sun. There you go. Not wasting anything. It's hilarious. That's incredible. So, so you've also got some solar panels down here just kind of hanging sure. out. So, so Ooh, the, those are heavy. 
Yeah, so this is another option. Uh, the solar panel is to be determined of what it is, um, but this solar panel will be able to run things as well. So you can okay, charge so your power bank. Okay, so you're doing like a whole so ecosystem you, here. Yeah, so it's like the Apple ecosystem, but for kitchen appliances for All from the outdoors. solar perspective. Right? Yeah, so it's a camp kitchen outdoors. So you can go from camp all the way to the backyard. Now, you've got a little uh, sensor here. What, it, what is that for here? For sure. So this is our Ghost Sun Thermo, uh, and it goes to an app. It allows you to put the probe into your food. So your chicken, which is a really important one, you want it to be 165. Yeah, you do. Not a thing lower, and we, we wouldn't advertise anything different. Um, you put it in the food, and then you slide it in the tray. So you would just right here put it in the food, slide it in the tray. It fits really easily, and then you click this on, and then you connect it to an app on your smartphone, and then you say, I want it to reach 165, and let, let me know when it gets there. And right. then when I'm going to be out uh, down by the river sipping a cold one because I just went on a big old hike, right? Yeah, and it's really hard to burn things in there, which is really, really easy, Ooh, good easy point. to do on the fire. So it's a really, really good cook. Hey, that's another thing. In California, fires, we don't like fires, so no. this is a much better way and to this go. is a really, really good thing to take to national parks, which have uh, a, like a really, really low propane tolerance. You have to take a very small propane. Oh, and so right, national right. parks or anywhere, especially during a fire ban, you can take it. It's not going to start a fire. We've literally put paper in there during a cook, and it hasn't started a fire. So it's very safe. So it doesn't get to 451 then? It, it does, actually. Oh, it does. Fahrenheit it, it, 451, you know the book? That's why it's called? Yes, I do. Burns. I remember high school. Yeah, there you go. Go high school. Uh, it wasn't okay, very so, long ago for me. <laughs> hey, I knew he would insult my age. I knew it. I could just tell you he was going to do too. that. <laughs> yeah, sure I did. Um, so uh, the, the camp version, is that for sale already or no? It is. This one is available retail on our site for $139. Oh, wow. That's not bad at all. No, it's it's a really good price to get into I the solar wanna, cooking game. I want to bring it out to a backyard barbecue and just throw hot dogs we in it for the We can make that happen. We also have another version that's for a two or three people, which is called the Sport, and that retails for $249. Oh, okay, so this is the individual unit. This is You make a hot dog and three pieces of Yeah, you could actually make about five hot dogs in here okay, uh, five to cool. six hot dogs so. and then you're just debuting the uh solar electric yep. version we've got now. the fusion and that's about five people and then we'd also have a grill a ghost sun grill for about eight people wow so this is this is really cool uh as much as i've teased you and made fun of you this is a lot of fun where uh, can right? people go to learn more about ghost sun products uh gosun.co so not gosun.com but those because they're hip and cool it's gosun.co well thank right. you very much this has been fun thank you so much